ബിസ്മില്ലാഹിമിനശ്ശൈത്വാനിറജീം ബിസ്മില്ലാഹിറഹ്മാനിറഹീം റബ്ബിഷ്റഹ്ലി സദ്രി വയസ്സിർലി അംറി വാഹ്ലുൽ ഉഖ്ദതം മിൻ ലിസാനി യഫ്ഖഹു ഖൗലി റബ്ബി സിദ്നി ഇൽമാ അല്ലാഹുമ്മ ഫഖ്ഹിൻ ഹഫീദീൻ ആമീൻ സോ ഐ തിങ്ക് മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് യു നോ ദിസ് ദുആ ദുആ ഇസ് ബിസ്മില്ലാഹിൽ ലസി ലാ യദുറു മാ സ്മിഹി ഷൈഉൻ ഫിൽ അർദി വലാ ഫിൽ സമായി വസ് സമിഉൽ ലലി but it has so much it is so meaningful and uh, we have to recite this dua morning and evening three times but while we are doing this duas what is the morning askar and what is the timings and what is the evening askar let me uh, clear that thing morning askar will be at fajr time will be doing before sunrise okay if just we are doing the repetition i know everybody knew about it but repetition is good so morning and evening so morning time that but evening is as soon as asar starts we can do it till maghrib time but if we forget that's okay still you can do it and this dua is so nice and um, here we'll see the meaning of it because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you know whatever the duas when we know the meaning of it it's beautify the dua so here bismillah bismillah means with the name of allah b means with ism name allah allah to so, bismillah with the name of allah bismillah allazi allazi is the pronoun with which by the uh, in the name of allah like in the translation it's different but i am translating word to word you can write bismillah then you can write in the bracket with the name of allah allazi with that's a pronoun we are using for allah subhanahu wa taala la not it's like no not yadurru yadurru if anybody wants to write in arabic dua durara it's from darar any affliction or harm you know that uh, masanni durru wa anta arhamu same dur this affliction can be you know physically or mentally but here it says dur any kind of affliction physically it's from darar so this is you know uh here we are talking about la yadurru any harm no harm ma ismihi ma ismihi like you know ma uh, ma uh, ismihi with the name on the earth uh, nothing on the earth like you know it comes later like yadurru no harm there is first we are saying la yadurru no harm ma ismihi with his will shayin anything shayin is anything it can be animals it can be accident it can be natural calamity shayin is anything fi in where is in al ard earth is earth okay anything in the earth wa and it's like a connecting thing wa and la not fi is in as samai the sky in the sky wa and again it's connecting huwa it is it is for allah huwa is a pronoun which is giving to all the like uh, for allah subhanahu wa taala you know when we talk about allah subhanahu wa taala hiya huwa huma that's how we are talking as sami it's from seen mim ain sami like hearing listening there is difference between listening and hearing like you know we are listening by so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says i am listening sami al alim is ain la mim il knowledge so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says when you recite this word see the uh, wordings and their meaning bismillah allazi la yaduru ma asmi shay'un fil ardi wa la fi samai wa samiul alim so with the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so whenever we are taking with the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it has baraka right and allazi with which and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says there will be no harm no affliction uh, like even no disease or something like sometimes you fall sick 
natural calamities or anything as I mentioned before accidents or it can be any mishap and Shayin is a vast thing they explain so many things in Shayin okay Wala fis samai wa samiul alim. So it can be on the earth or it can be in the sky. Sometimes we go to new place. Sometimes we are going to hotel or we are going to some internationally we are traveling. We try to recite this dua because we don't know what can harm us. So if you recite this is a small dua and we have to recite it thrice. That's how it's mentioned in the hadith. So whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that's what we are going to say, uh, we are going to do. We are not going to say, okay, why is it so? Samena wa We obey and we do it. 